Hey everyone, it's Victoria James and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscriber button, let it turn gray, become a J-Bay, and join the J-Bay fam where we chit chat and all that about luxury beauty. Why the hell am I coming to you in my bra and draws? Well, I thought that I would do a get ready with me that is a little bit more thorough. And I'm um, starting off with my true kind undergarments because I'm a true kind affiliate, but also I just want to show you how these things look underneath clothes on a plus size woman on a real body no filters no photoshop no face tune none of that we're just gonna put the fit on put that shit on okay yesterday was the last day at target because you know they're having target circle week um to purchase a dress at 30 percent off and so i found this extremely cute dress that i'm going to put on today so this is my dress, y'all. It is a Ava and Viv flutter sleeve A-line maxi dress with a little slit. Um, I'll put up a picture so that you guys can actually see the slit because I can't get my full body in here. <laughs> so what I really like about this is the versatility of this dress, y'all. Let's go ahead and put it on. This is a, a 2X. We're working our way down to that 1X goal by the 40th birthday. Amen. I tried on like three green dresses and then I pulled y'all on Instagram and this was the winner so here's how she lays and if you just wanted to wear it how it is in the picture on Target then this is what you do now this section in the middle is really awesome because this thing changes the look of, of the whole dress okay so your neckline can look like this if you would prefer okay like almost like a scoop neck you see that or you can throw this off your shoulder okay and then you've got it going clean across and that's this is how I'm gonna wear it today it's going clean across with the little off the shoulder situation you can also cinch it a little more and give yourself almost a sweetheart or a v-neck you do a v-neck like this or if it's off the shoulder you're giving yourself a sweetheart neckline also depending on your bust size okay like if i was sitting a little more jill scott on top all right a little a little uh, takara if you will then i would have the fabric for which to cover up if i wanted to also you can tie this in a bow right here and, and it could just live like this or Hey, come on, halter top. It's a moment. It's a moment. It's a vibe. And guess what? It's also how I'm wearing it today. So, to secure the space where I want it, like ruching wise, I'm going to just tie a soft knot. Just a soft knot like that to keep it from unraveling. Then I'm going to take it around my neck. And just tie me a little bow. Voila. Got the halter portion of things. And then I'm going to pull my flutter, flutter sleeves. I can talk today. Off my shoulders. All right. And here we are. This is how I want to wear this dress today. But I can wear it a few different ways. And I really like that. Especially for the price. This dress retails like with no sales for $35. To me, that's already a deal. That's already a good price for a dress that you can wear at least four different ways. Then this comes in other colors and it even comes in patterns. So depending on your size, you have a few uh, choices. Then also and as well, your girl had the 30% off, right? Had 30% off the dress. So it was down to 24.75, something like that. Hold on. Hold on. You really gonna love this because I had bought some housewares and some feminine products i got twenty dollars worth of gift cards and used it towards this dress i paid four dollars and fifty cents for this dress and the last one this is the one where i feel like you guys need to just kind of like create a tab and get your butt on target this one right here the new target circle program offers you free unlimited same day delivery and they have a 14 day free trial friends so i also got this delivered for free <laughs> get your ass on target link in the description box 
So your girl looking real cute for grocery shopping, okay? And got this dress for under five dollars. Can we like can I get an, an applause from the audience? Cause this is when you hit a lick. <laughs> So she cute, right? And I also have Target on the footwear. Give me one sec. So a new day is out here becoming the new, uh, I don't know, what Fashion Nova <laughs> of Target. They have um, dupes for high fashion shoes right now, like on Target. Obviously we know these are inspired by the Hermes Orons. And I have them in three, three colors. These are the white ones I'm wearing today because I'm wearing a white purse and I want to, you know, give that. Then, I also have them in cognac. I mean, talk about, I could have easily worn these today too. Hey, come on, come on spring, summer. Raffia in the building. So, and, and these are $20 each. Um, and they also have deals on sandals, you know, as the summer approaches. So you can hold off for that and then get yourself a few. I think I actually got these each for $15 because there was some kind of like 20% off or something like that going on. Um, they have black. They even have clear. Man. I think they even have these in almost like a um, like a weave pattern that has two different colors. I'm going to show it on the screen because I think these are gorgeous and more comfortable than the Aurons. <gasps> oh my God. No, God, please, no. No shit at him. Yes, I did, girl. These will be linked. Because how could you not? How could I not put y'all on? All right? How could I do that? I won't do that because you're my friends. That is the outfit for today. Let me show you the bag. I have not worn this Michael Kors bag in a very long time. But it's cute and I think it's the perfect size for today. And it goes with my sandals. So it's got this nice big pocket in the back for your phone. Got your little crossbody straps here with the gold details and then this thing in here actually comes out this comes out that holds your cards and all your doodads and it has a wristlet strap when i tell you versatility <laughs> versatility from from michael is always there i don't know if this bag still exists you guys i got this bag a while ago but I will do my absolute best to find it for you and link it for you if you are interested in it because this is really cute. Even if I find it on the resale market, I will link it for you. And it's easy to just pop this um, wristlet situation right back in there and then it becomes part of the bag to hold your, your things. Like I don't mind it under the boot, you know? Especially when you're shopping. This is a really good, like, it's a really good length, so. There it is. I think that's cute for today. I love it. Let's do my hair. Now that my hair is growing out, y'all, I have to actually do my hair. I used to just kind of wet it, throw a little gel in it, and then I was good to go. But now I actually have to put in some effort, run a brush through it, and I'm fine with it because I'm growing my hair out. Um, so yeah, my Pattern Beauty Continuous, uh, what do you, what do you call this? A continued mist sprayer? Whatever. I, I got it from Target <laughs> in um, the Ulta section. Quite a few things from my hair care routine today from Target. The Powder Beauty Edge Control and the Miss Jessie's Leave-In Condish. And this is the only utensil I, or utensil, this is the only hair tool I actually need. Um, I'm going to give myself a little more water. And this is also from Pattern Beauty. I went crazy. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Between melanin hair care and Pattern Beauty, I went nuts in somebody's Ulta when they dropped. I was like, what? Let me go get everything. <laughs> Let me just do this across the shelf, into the cart. So, I mean, I didn't literally do that, but I did pretty much get everything at the time. I got the microfiber towel from Pattern. I got the um, the tool kit, like the wide tooth comb, the afro pick, and the brush. Uh, what else did they have at the time? The conditioner, like the heavy conditioner, the leave-in conditioner, the shampoo. <laughs> I was like, throw it in the bag, Fran. And I did the same thing when Melanin Hair Care came to Ulta. I was like, you know what? Give me everything. 
Oh, somebody got a limp. My little neighbor's dog. Look at me being nosy. I am in full auntie mode. <laughs> Looking out the window, being nosy. <laughs> what? I'll be turning 40 this year, so it is on par. <laughs> Lord of mercy. There's currently some product in my hair from yesterday. So I don't need a lot. I don't need a lot of anything really. I don't need a lot of leave-in conditioner or edge control. I'm just going to define a part and wear my hair, you know, in a part. So Izzy and Go-Go, by the way, our, our little channel for the dogs is adorable. And I hope that y'all are subscribing to check out our little puppers. I mostly upload shorts, not like full videos, but um, yeah, check it out. It's really cute. They're funny, they're adorable, you know, all the things. So yeah, like I said, this is um, where we're at with the, with the hair. I'm gonna start with the leave-in. Looks like this, it's nice and thick. And I'm using about that much. I don't know what I would call this. But anyway, it's that's what I'm using. And I'm mostly just running it on the edges. I don't actually need it near my scalp. I'm just going to get these edges together. I need a trim. Truly. I absolutely do. Because I feel like those, those tangles that you were hearing as I was brushing through my hair, I think that's because of split ends. Because there's no reason for my hair to be doing that. And I don't know how to trim my own hair, so I'm going to have to go to one of my hairdresser cousins and uh, get that together. Now I'm going to take this gel from Aveda. I think I've talked to you guys about this recently. B Curly Advanced Coil Definer Gel. Stronghold Fights Frizz. And it has a stronghold, uh, sure, but it's not a crunchy hold. So I really, really like this gel. And I'm going to actually focus this all through my hair. And make sure that I sort of touch as much of my hair. Anyway, I haven't been taking care of my nails and I need to jump back on that. So we will probably have a short where I show you guys what I'm doing for my nails. All right. See that? Like I just had a tangle. Definitely need a trim. That's one thing though. Y'all know I ain't afraid of nobody scissors or clippers. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, it was already curling up. <laughs> I'm just going to run my brush through again. Make sure I've got everybody. The gel and all that. And then I'm going to decide what to do from here as far as like how to part it. Ooh, a, a, a cute little headband would have made sense today. But I don't know where they are. <laughs> I did say I wasn't going to use any other tool, but I but I got to make a part now. I want to do the part kind of like that. Like a rounded part. I think that would be cute. Something like, something like. Except, you know, clean. Let's do it a little at a time. Okay. Yeah, that's doing something. That's doing a thing. And then bring it around town a little bit. Go. You see, I got some hang time, y'all. I got some hang time. So I'm just going to clip or whatever I got. Probably like a bobby pin. Nala's uh, Little Mermaid clip. Do that. <laughs> whatever works. <laughs> So now I'm going to take the edge control for pattern. And it's got a nice consistency. I'm kind of like spread it out so I can use just this amount and that's it. And I'm not trying to like completely slick my hair down. I just want to create that separation so that the part is visible. I promise you this is not a tutorial, friends. This is just a get ready with me. I'm not telling you to do it like this. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right here. That's the thing. I'm not really liking where this is going. It looks a little weird. 
So what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Let's see. You hear that? Maybe you know? I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna fold it back on itself. That looks cool. Let me look at this in a hammer before I lie to you. It's just, you know, we've got the defined part. I've kind of doubled it back on itself so it looks like I styled it this way or like I cut it that way, you know what I mean? I think that's cool, that works, that's fine. I like the off the shoulder situation, I'm feeling real cute. This works, we're done. Now I'm going to quickly moisturize my body. My hands a little bit, they're a little sticky. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean off my hands a little bit. I'm gonna wash my hands, I'll be back. I'm gonna wash my hands, because they feel like they need to be washed. Today I'm moisturizing with a little Necessaire. I have my body serum and body lotion and i just i'm trying to get rid of these because i want to buy other things <laughs> i saw that they came out with body cream and i really want to try that this has a uh, hyaluronic acid and the claims are that it re replenishes hydrates and plumpens the skin i'm gonna put some of this on my back too i'll show you what it's giving i'm gonna do it to my legs too but i'm just gonna show you what it looks like on top and this is uh, the fragrance free version of their lotion, but they do have a few different scents, including eucalyptus, bergamot, and one more that I think is new. But those two were the like signature ones that they had for scents. I'm gonna get this all the way behind me as well and show you what the shoulders are giving once we've got everything incorporated. Necessary is available at Sephora. I'll just do my legs real quick and I will be back. I really want to try the body cream from Necessaire. I love that this is fragrance free. I can share it with my daughter who has eczema. And it's, I mean, it's not cheap, right? But it's also not La Mer expensive. It's also not Sisley expensive. You know what I mean? But it gives you the same luxurious experience and ingredients that are going to, you know, show the results. You know the next vib sale perhaps because i don't know when i'm gonna get this out but if i get it out before the 15th i will make sure you know to have the link so that you guys can pick it up if you want to but yeah that's necessary baby and since it's fragrance free whatever fragrance i choose to put on it on top of it is going to really stand out what does pink canyon smell like and what can i pair it with oh it's very bright pretty little like florals almost desert florals there's a little background of coconut in there i'm an over sprayer like a mother sucker who got check me yeah this hyper rose i think is gonna go nicely this is from beauty counter beauty counter just came out with like five new fragrances and they sent me a sample discovery set and so this hyper rose they're all beautiful let me tell you something wasn't a single one i wouldn't mind having a full size of which is saying a lot because that's not always the case when it comes to them discovery sets i'm like whoo glad i didn't get that you know what i mean but oh god mm. Mm. what else is that that's like what is making the, the rose hyper? <laughs> I'm not even trying to be funny. I swear to God, I wasn't trying to be funny. There's something in there that is like giving it a little bit of candy. Like a like candy, but like bright. I swear, it's like... I've never smelled a rose fragrance like this. This is beautiful. And I'm not a rose fragrance girl. Even though I have... um from Sully Notes, I have Rose, but I, I mix it, you know what I mean? Like, it's not the, the forefront of my fragrance choice at all. Oh, wow. That smells so good. It, it smells like, almost like cotton candy meets hard candy. Like a Rose Water Jolly Rancher. Give me a little more of that, honey. So the body is together, and let's do the face, because the face has been washed. 
I use my Chantecaille Rice and Geranium Cleanser, Gentle Exfoliation, you know, all the things. So I think I might stick with it, you know, in terms of what I put on my face. Like, mostly Chantecaille. Child, who knows? I'm, something's happening with the lighting. The lights, the sun is moving. Let me see if I can fix this. Skincare is done while the camera was cooling off. So I used my fresh kombucha toner. I used the hyaluronic acid serum from the Inky List, Rose de May Eye Lift. And then Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Intensive Moisturizer. This stuff I thought was a gel moisturizer, y'all. It is a cream. A thick cream. A thick cream. I love it. I actually really love this. <laughs> I put it on my hands, I put it on my neck, I put it on my face, I, I, everywhere. We can get primed and ready. And since my face is moisturized, I am simply going to address potential, um, like, you know, pore stuff. So I'm just going to fill in my pores a little bit and then we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit because I don't feel like you can really see what I'm doing. Yeah. That works. That's good. And I am going to go ahead and try different brushes today because <laughs> I have all these brushes and I only ever use like the same six. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's go in with the Sephora Pro number 47 foundation brush and I'm going to be using the Prada Beauty today. The shade is DW80. Get into her standard two pumps for me. I'm going to bust out my mirror so I can like really see what I'm doing. Right now, I am trying to minimize my steps so that I can also get Nala ready. So that is why I'm going for something that is self-setting. So I don't need powder if I don't want to use it. I really love this. New, this new shade choice is that girl. My Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Concealer. And I'm not even going to switch brushes, y'all. I believe this is Terra, shade Terra, which is 6WO. Sometimes I don't mind a little fussiness, you know, when you're getting ready in a, in a manner in which you have time to really kind of devote to application and blending and blah, blah, blah. Totally fine with it. But when it's when I'm trying to get ready to go to the grocery store and get my baby ready before 11 o'clock and it's already quarter to 10, I need to be able to just slap something up and let it do most of the work for me. Well, this brush is working fantastic for all the functions I want. I think I'm going to also use it for my blush. So Thomas is bringing us another $150 foundation. And um, I'm going to get it. Baby Cheeks from Westman Atelier. I said I was going to use different stuff. Listen, I've been using my Sisley, my Gucci. I used my Hermes a bunch of times recently. You will let me. <laughs> All right. I know I love my Westman Atelier. I know she gets into almost every <laughs> single makeup application. But there's a reason for it. I am going to have to address my face with powder because I, I am very hydrated. <laughs> I'm very hydrated today. Whew. And to set my under eyes today, I always use the same damn thing. So I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> okay. I'm going to reach instead for my LYS powder. Now I have used this. You've seen me use it. But what I mean is as opposed to using the Pat McGrath, which is like the thing I reach for by default. So I'm going to go into the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder in shade Independent, which is described as tan. And that is what I like to use to set. And I think I can safely say this with full confidence, you guys. This 
if you don't want to pay for the Pat McGrath, you can get this. I think that they do very similarly and the colors are similar. You're not going to get as much blurring, but if you've already used the blurring primer, do you really need it? I haven't reached, okay, it's another Westman Atelier. Just let me rock, okay? I haven't used this contour stick in a little bit. So we're going to go in with a little ganache. Just to bring some definition back to the face. And I'm actually, no, I'm not going to use my finger because, because I will forget that I did that <laughs> and then I'll have a problem on my hands. So I'm going to go in with that good old number 57 and blend this out. You saw how easy. <sighs> I love it for a reason. And since I'm just, an, I'm really interested in not using a lot of brushes today, I'm just going to use this to blend out the rest of my contour. And then I'm going to use a fluffy brush for my bronzer. I don't have a lot of bronzers. I've realized that. I have a cream bronzer, but I'm not going to use a cream bronzer. I'm going to use my Victoria Beckham. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> trying to use new things <laughs> but I love her okay I love her I'm gonna stick this at her I'm gonna use the lighter version of, out of the two because it's it's two pans I'm gonna use the lighter of the two on my cheek so it's like serving double duty it's serving to set my cream blush and also you know bronze oh god i haven't used these in a long time y'all so let's see we've got i might reach for pangolin just because it's so beautiful yeah i don't want to be, i don't i want a little color today Giraffe is so beautiful and so easy, right? But look at Pangolin. Pangolin is a light pink and Crane is like almost like a cranberry. But this has like purple flecks in it. Ugh. I look is done Ooh. off camera I went ahead and just finished up my eyes with like some liner some mascara for brows I used uh, benefits precisely my brow in shade 4.5 fan fest from benefit on the lashes and then just for a little added volume I put the YSL lash clash on my upper lashes and um, I'll put the rest of what I have on my eyes in the description box for you. I just want to finish up because it's already 10 15. I got to get the baby together. So um, I have my Hindash. Um, this is an eyeliner, but I use it for a lip liner. It's called the Eye Tone Pencil in Intra. And here's the color. I just really like this color. It's like a warm brown. Looks really pretty. So I'm going to use that as the liner for my lip gloss today because I'm just going to wear lip gloss. When I was looking in our collection, I did not have much in the way of like an orangey lip liner. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just do brown and make it kind of warm, right? So that I can wear this girl right here. And this is one of the Gloss Luxes from Tom Ford. And this is in the shade Frenzy. I do believe if they still sell these at the cosmetic company store, you can actually get them from there. 
This gloss formula plays in none of the games. I just love. Oh. Oh. I put too much on. <laughs> I put way too much on. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's how you get it off your lips. But look at that. And I didn't need the powder that I thought I needed. I was like, oh, I'm going to set it up. I put a t like a little bit of the uh, blurring powder from Sh uh, Chantecai just on my pores. And you guys saw me set my concealer area. That is all I needed. That's all I needed. I think it looks so pretty. I'm all set and ready to go. I'm going to put on a little bit of accessories, you guys. I'm going to switch out um, some of the silver. I'm going to mix my metals. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. I went ahead and mixed my metals today. So I'm wearing um, this earring at the top. These little these little baby ones are from Pandora. They have like a... what. I don't know what they exactly call it, but it caters towards teenagers. These much smaller earrings with a little bit of personality to them. Um, this one here, these two, the two gold ones are from Monica Vaynor. And then this one here is the one that I usually wear in the front with the two, the two links. It's from Ana Luisa. I am wearing a few different things. I'm wearing this gold ring from Soko this one and this gold one this twist ring and this these two are from Ana Luisa as well and then this ring with the little gems in it the little cubic zirconias this one is from Pandora this I got at the zoo from a vendor uh, it's just a jade bracelet and then these two here are gifts from Chantecai they are um, their philanthropy bracelets and I thought that would look really pretty today too. So th that's my jewelry. Um, just for a little added jush, just for a little added, you know, something, I am going to put on the Lit Up Highlight Stick in Brulee from Westman Atelier. I'm gonna put it on my shoulders, baby. We gonna give them a little something. Let's pull that in real good. I just thought, oh my goodness, that's going to look really cute. Let me go ahead and, and I didn't know which shade I wanted to use because I have Nectar, I have Parla. Um, I don't think I have Lit anymore. I think I sold that one. But I have these three. And Parla is usually my go-to. But I was like, yo, this, it is the season to keep it bronzy. You feel me? So we're going to go ahead and put Brulee on. And just buff that in and let the shoulders lean so hey <laughs> let me let me take what's left over and pop it on the clavicle because she's she's peeking out she's peeking out I feel like she's gonna make her debut at my 40th birthday party we are ready to go okay she's cute I am going to do a very quick what's in my bag because I am going to be uh, wearing a cute you know, you, you know what bag I'm wearing. So I'm gonna do a quick what's in my bag and show you guys what I'm putting in here. I was talking to y'all, I wasn't even recording. Okay, listen. Ah, here's what I am putting in my bag. A compact mirror. The children are fighting. Um, my hand cream from Trader Joe's. This is the Rose Oil Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. As you can see, I really like it. I am picking up a new one today. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm putting that in there. I am going to be putting a glasses uh, cleaning cloth. My Honest Hand Sanitizer Spray. This is in Grapefruit Grove. A pen, because you always need a pen. My keys. Yes, these little keys. Uh, these keys. <laughs> are from a craft project I did at the library with Nala. Isn't that adorable? So yeah, my house keys, a couple of lozenges because I've got a sore throat, and my lip combo. And last but not least, my new baby, this Kate Spade wallet. This doesn't fit in here. I'm not going to bring it. There we go. She's all packed and ready to go. That is going to do it for today's video. I hope you <coughs> 
that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to also share this video if you find it entertaining and possibly informative to people. I would really appreciate it so that we can gain visibility and have more J Bays in the fam. We're trying to get to 3,000 this year, and I'm very confident that we can do that. Thank you again for watching, you guys. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.